we're going to be getting global exclusives. Like, name another gacha that has that. It's always like JP or CN that always gets the gacha exclusives. And so, like, this is really freaking fresh. Hi, welcome back to another Punishing Grey Raven video. My name is Lace. And today, I want to talk about, like, the kind of exclusive content that we already have and, like, what's coming. And just a quick run through of the first event that is about to come up in, like, less than 24 hours. Honestly, this all gets me so hyped. And so, let me just jump right into the content. All right, so first, what we have is we have the dev blog here. And so, you can read this in your own time. I'll link it in the description below. But essentially in this dev blog, all they've been saying is like they've been working really hard. They've been doing a whole bunch of like localizations as well as fonts, as well as like scripts, new data centers, compatibility tests, like a whole bunch of different stuff to make sure that our launch is going to go well. And to be honest, our launch actually did go super well. With that being said though, I want to draw your attention to this sentence down here. So they say, we're happy to announce that content updates will begin shortly after launch. And on top of the expected story chapters and new constructs, English players can look forward to several new holiday and festival events created specifically for this edition of the game. That is actually insane. Like there is no other game that is willing to do like global exclusive stuff. To be honest, when other games try to do that, like a lot of the other regions outraged. In one CN based game recently, I believe they actually did do a global exclusive event. The CN community outraged and then the global community got that event taken away from them. And then on top of that, the CN players were also compensated. So like that is pretty freaking crazy. I really hope that that does not happen to this game because this is like so freaking hype. Anyway, what I wanted to show you guys today is that there is actually something that is already kind of like exclusive to the EN version. Two things actually. And so let me jump into the game and let me show you what exactly it is. First of all, as part of the pre-registration rewards, we got a two set effect memory called Enderia. But essentially what I'm trying to say is that this gal or like these two gals, this is exclusive to global. The reason that I know this is because I actually cross-checked against like the consciousness spreadsheet as well as like some of the other lists I found. And there was absolutely no mention of Enderia. And so this is so freaking awesome. On top of that, we only got two of them. And as you can see, this is a two piece set. And so this kind of implies that we are not going to be getting any more and so guys hopefully it is already locked up for you and do not unlock it because if you lose it you'll probably lose it forever all right so that's that one however the next one is a lot more interesting because typically when you think about like global exclusive events from gachas they're all like oh maybe we're going to give you like an extra uh, pack event or something we'll give you an extra deal you know you buy one get one free kind of thing you know what i'm saying however what i freaking discovered today is that for s karenina and this character over here if you go into the coating you will see this skin over here which is blood love. This skin, I believe, does not appear in any other version of PGR. And we actually logged onto the Taiwan server just to check for this, and it wasn't there. And so all of this has led me to believe that this is actually an exclusive skin for Global. And so how exactly do you get this skin, Papa Lace? Well, this actually goes back to where I originally found it. So if I go back to the homepage and I go to the news, and then I click into the event news, so hopefully you guys already know about this. Essentially, we have an event that is starting up in like, I don't know, very, very soon. And so this event, I will talk about a little bit later, but one of the rewards is actually that bloody love construct coding. And so what I'm going to assume is that everybody is going to be able to earn that skin. That is so awesome. I don't know how many times I can reiterate that because like it's the first time for me that Global has gotten something exclusive. And on top of that, those dev notes just get me really excited about what's to come. I think this just really shows that there is a willingness for them to devote like some level of dev activities to our server. Usually when a game is brought over from the Japanese or the CN or the KR servers or whatever, they actually come like a little bit scuffed. And what I mean by scuffed is that like they usually nerf your gacha rates or like they screw your income over or like they nerf your characters, something like that. No, in this game, as far as I can tell, everything has been like left as it is. And on top of that, we are actually getting exclusive stuff as well. Oh my God. I, oh my, I don't know how many times I can say, I'm going to stop saying it because it's going to bore the hell out of you guys, but I am just so excited and I hope you guys are as well. And so whilst we're here, let me quickly run through the event with you guys. This is going to be a really easy, really short one. Nothing innovative. It's just a nice like starter event to kind of get us going. And so again, this is probably going to start in like less than 12 hours from now. And so the event is called Energy Recovery Operation. For this event, all you have to do is complete your daily missions and then you're going to get event currency. And then with these event currencies, you're going to activate the detector to scan through the area. And essentially what you're doing is like you're getting these event currencies and then like realistically, you're just exchanging them for rewards. So essentially, each time you use this detector, you're going to be converting your event tokens through into event points. And as it's suggesting here, there's going to be kind of like a variable redeem points kind of thing. And what I mean by that, I guess like this last statement really describes it the best. For your first trade in you have a lower battery cost but it's going to give you less stuff and then there's also actually the option to use the wide range detector which is going to give you more rewards all in all i think personally this is going to be like a slot machine thing and the reason that i think it's a slot machine thing is because of like this little image up here it actually says slot jackpot up here and so i think what we're going to do is we're actually going to gamble each of these event points into here on top of that what i think this means this guy over here achieving particular points will unlock corresponding rewards i personally think that this means that there are going to be milestones so for example if you hit like 
X amount of points, you're going to get the R&D tickets. And then if you get to like Y amount of points, you're going to get limited decor, which is just your furniture for your house. And then probably at the very end, we are going to see the bloody love, which is like the really nice S. Karenina skin. But honestly, I am not going to take up any more of your time. So I'm going to try to keep this video short and let's just wrap it up there. Guys, I'm so excited. All right, guys, I have a secret message for you guys, and that is bloody love. If you guys could drop that secret message, bloody love down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it lets me know that you've actually watched all the way up until the end of the video. And I really appreciate that. So thank you so much. But otherwise, I'm going to keep this short. Please like, subscribe, comment. You guys already know what it is. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.